Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to teach you how to use labels in Gmail. So you probably already know that at the top of your Gmail inbox, there is the ability to search. Um, and so, of course, you can always look for things from a certain sender. So even without using the drop down menu, for example, I can I can type in a sender's name or email address, see that sender pop up and find all emails. So I don't really need to go through and label every single email that has Tracy in it because I can always find those emails just like that. So labels are not for that. What labels are for are for emails that may at first seem different but really have to do with the same topic. So for example, on November 12th, uh, we have some school districts who are coming in to Huntsville to do a site visit. And there are lots of different emails from different school districts, from different people with our, in our district that have to do with this topic. And here's one right here. Well, I already have a label set up right down here over on the left hand side. I have one um, top level label that's called Google Site Visit and I have a sub label called November 12th since we're having a site visit November 12th. So let me show you how I can use the label to organize these messages so I can find them easily later on. So I can put a check mark on this particular message and go into my labels and I can start typing um, part of the name and I can select that label and you see now it's labeled. Now, when I archive this message, which sends it to over here to all mail, I'm still going to be able to easily pull that back by going over here to Google Site Visit November 12th. And then there's the message that I just labeled. So I can open it up. There it is. And I see the label at the top. So let me show you how to make a new label. Let's say that I wanted to start a series of labels about the new Hive website that just came out today. So exciting. So I could put a check mark by this email, go up to my labels and start typing in a new name underneath create new. So I'll click create new and then I'll say um, Hive website and I'll click create. I'll be able to see that new label appear over here on the left hand side and I can even choose the drop down arrow to the right of that and select a color if I want to signify that new label and you see that appear right there in my inbox. So in this way labels help us go back and find things later on. Let me show you how this is going to look. So if I want to find all the emails I've ever labeled with Hive inbox, I'll just start typing it right up here at the top. Um, I'll see the label that I've entered before in the in the drop down list I can select it and now here I've only labeled one email so far but I can label many more and they'll all appear here in the list when I search for that label I'll also see them over here in the left hand side so if you decide that you don't want to see all your labels on the side you can always go into the gear in the top right hand corner and settings and you can control from here which labels you see um, on the left hand side. So I can go to my labels and you see all my different labels I've created and you can choose show and hide on those different labels. So I hope that helps you keep your inbox more organized and feel comfortable that when you hit the archive button you're always going to be able to find those important emails. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye bye.